In this video, we're going to look at the repair tools of NetFab. We don't need to see the platform at the moment, so turn off Show Platform. Click on Project, Add Part, and double click on the bad STL part. Add the part to the model. You can see your large warning triangle that shows us there are some problems that we need to address. We're going to repair these using the repair module. Click on repair and then click the update button to see the current status of the mesh. You will see we have some borders, some invalid orientation triangles and several holes. We're going to start by fixing the invalid orientation. Click fixed clip flip to You can see that that has not quite repaired the problem because we have some large duplicated triangles in this region. Select both of the big faces and delete them. Check the status again by going back to status and click update. Border edges will be repaired by stitching, so stitch the triangles together. Again, check the status. You see we have a single shell, but still some remaining border edges. Although this area looks okay, in fact, there are some duplicated triangles. Click any of the triangles and delete it, and you'll see there's another triangle immediately below. This can again be repaired by clicking Remove Double Triangles. Come back to Status, Update, and the part is now fully repaired. Exit the module and remove the part. This time we're going to do exactly the same, but fully automatically. Add the same part again. Go into the repair module. Click repair script. Choose extended repair and execute. Apply that repair, removing the old part, and again, the part is completely repaired. Remove the part, and now we're going to import two different models at the same time. Select the bad STL and the broken technical part and click Open. NetFam tells us that both of these parts are in fact damaged, but we can repair them on import. Click Automatic Part Repair, choose the Extended Repair option, and click Add Parts. The warning triangle has disappeared and both parts are now fixed.